patience is a virtue, they say, or maybe being so busy that I couldn't get around to making this video for so long that something major got sorted out. Either way, this is part two of my analog boogaloo with HD Zero. Now, if you haven't watched part one of my HD Zero goggles and analog adventure, then pause here and go see what I went through. Chances are you had a very similar situation or would just like a heads up on what to watch out for. Now I outlined the pink static and how I had to constantly reboot the external module in hopes of getting it working again. Now I mentioned in that video that I was going to try and borrow a fusion module and I did. I even picked up the AKK diversity module off Amazon for a massive $35 and ordered the proper HD0 analog module bay. Spoiler alert, the AKK has been my favorite to work with. Maybe I'll make a full video on that later. None of that sorted my problem until there was an experimental firmware posted on the HD0 Discord and GitHub. So, we're back in the race? Well, hold, hold on, hold on. Now, this is a revision of firmware 9.3 with all the modules I can now consistently get back in the air with analog. There are a few caveats though. But remember, this isn't an official firmware release, and hopefully these things will get sorted before it's ready. One issue is that Rapid Fire's menu still has a weird pink sparkle artifacts, but those go away when you leave the module menu. Sometimes when you power on the module, I do need to change the channels, then go back to the one that I want to use. S simple fix, just moving one channel and back for it to get a clean lock. The other is the most problematic for some people based on the number of complaints in Discord, and that's the darker image. It is darker, and I compared the AKK diversity receiver on the HD0 goggles with the rapid fire on the Orcas, and it's undeniable. I did try another test in a controlled environment with both the rapid fire and AKK in my HD0 goggles and found it's basically the same. It's a little darker on the AKK, but not enough to justify the big swing from one set of goggles to another. Long and short is, there's clearly a fix on the way. Right now it's not perfect, but I'm hopeful and I really feel like we're going to see these fixes and more in the next full release of the goggle firmware. But for now, here's my comparison of my Orcas with the rapid fire on mode 1 and my HD0 goggles with the AKK diversity receiver as I do some test flights on my waterproof race quad over a field of water. If you want to see more about that quad, then check it out here on the channel. And until next time, make sure you're subscribed and stay in the air. Oh God, here goes. I lost all feeling from my head to my toes. You said some shit that I can't let go. So just stay tuned for the rest of the show.